Scams are still running rampant across the country. One woman says she was taken in by the so-called romance scam. 56,000 people fell victim to it last year alone. NBC 15's Ashley Knight tells us the story of one woman who was taken advantage of by not one, but three different scammers all claiming to be in love with her. But she had it in my room. Okay. He's here now. Sorry, my love, for not texting you. That's one of the men texting yeah. you, texting uh -huh. you? Just now. This is the third man Bonnie Limbhart formed a virtual relationship with over the last eight years, sending pictures back and forth, praying together, and talking about a life together. I will love you to my last breath. But all three men lived overseas and started asking for money months into the relationship. I had the money. I had the $430,000 in my bank account, in the savings account. Then I had owned a house, 650000 I got a reverse mortgage on it after I spent all the money in the $430,000, then I just kept sending money. Libhard says this all started about two years after her husband suddenly passed away. I had no clue they were doing. I believed them. I wanted to get married again. The Federal Trade Commission says more consumers than ever are falling for romance scammers. The commission reported victims losing $547 million in 2021 alone. Uh, one of my friends said, I think you're being scammed. And I said, no, this guy and I talked back and forth about the Bible. We pray together. And uh, they said, well, we got a thing coming on at the First Baptist Church in Huntsville for it's fraud and, and yeah, romance it's scams. Wrong. That's when Libhart discovered it was all a lie. Libhart says her bank even called her concerned about where she was sending all her money. But she says she's learned her lesson. And uh, but I'm not going to do that anymore. If God doesn't show me a man at church or somewhere, they're Christians. Ashley Knight, NBC 15 News. Well, the Better Business Bureau also has some advice. Be weary of if you meet someone online and they're quick to move communication off social media. Scammers will often hint at financial troubles before they ever ask for your money. Lastly, a catfish will usually begin speaking of a future together and tell you they love you quickly.